it won't be the reimagination of the interface to users. It'll be the reimagination of the guarantees behind the interfaces. So there are many, many systems that depend very heavily on guaranteeing a certain interaction between parties. Many, many platforms do this, whether it's for, um, you know, renting a home, doing something with a derivative, doing something with a trade, doing, doing really getting paid for generating content, whatever it is. Um, ge generally speaking, there is um, a huge amount of structural, fundamental, and largely unsolvable without Web3 trust and contractual and basically just systemic risk issues that most people don't know about because the interfaces and the brands representing the interfaces abstract away that risk and that complexity. And that's really what banks and insurance companies and Web2 platforms are, is they are a packaging of complexity in a simple digestible form, but that complexity and that risk continues to exist. So for example, Robinhood can package an interface very well, but they can still haul trading and that doesn't work for some people. So, so what this will really be is a reimagination of not the interface, but the guarantees behind the interface. And it's, it's, it's that guarantee behind the interface that oracles and blockchains and these systems really generate in a way that was never historically possible. And it's also, I think, why sometimes it's hard for people to see the value because these systems deal with very back-end problems. So generating cryptographic guarantees and cryptographic truth on a topic that people think they already have guarantees about can be confusing for them. But I, I think the reality is that many people do not have the guarantees they think they have about everything from their banking relationship to their insurance company relationship to the ticket that they buy to go to, to an event that ends up be, being fraudulent. And that is you know, a massive surprise because the brand creates all of these assurances and logos and holographic strips and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, people still have their trading halted. They still have derivatives fa failures with things like Archegos. You still have things like Evergrande. You still have things like Robinhood happening once in a while. And that is what this whole uh, thing is about. And to answer your question, the people that facilitate that efficiency will need to decide if they want to be part of facilitating this new type of efficiency. And so that is the decision that they need to make.